artist out there, I need to know if they have ever seen this before. Because I've never heard of anything quite like this story. Now you know I usually don't see Twitter drama as being very video worthy, but I just, I had to talk about this because I thought it was so interesting, just genuinely fascinating. So basically there's this thread where this person talks about their friend and this problem that they've been having with this popular Sonic fan artist. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Oh, the Sonic fandom? This is gonna be interesting. So this friend comes out with this long thread where they talk about this popular Sonic fan artist telling a story about how they contacted her friend and told her that her Sonic art was too similar to hers, so she had to change her art style. Isn't that the most bizarre thing that you've ever heard in your life? These are screenshots of the conversation where she's pointing out like, okay, this is your art, but this was my art. You see, they're exactly the same. As if there is no... <laughs> There's no Sonic fan art in which he ever engages with a real hedgehog. It just doesn't, it doesn't happen. That was my idea, I copyrighted it, and you stole it. And you could tell, like, her, this isn't even the main art piece. This is part of a multiple art piece. And this was just like, this was one skit within a bigger art piece. It's like, nope, still counts. Still counts as a copy. And it's just a little bit sad because this other artist who did not want to be named, although you could, you know, look up the art and find them. They were apologizing to Issa and saying that they would try to change their art style, which is insane. And then Issa is writing, helping her write an apology post to post on Twitter, apologizing to Issa for copying her art style. Now, this all makes more sense when you know that the other artist is a minor. She's only 15. So hearing this popular fan artist on Twitter come to you and say, hey, you're doing something wrong. I need you to write an apology to me and change your art style. You, you're young. You just believe it. You just go with it. You know, they're like, oh, well, this person is way bigger than me. They're older than me. Maybe I am doing something wrong. And then, of course, the idea is, oh, well, since you since you did this for me, since you went along with what I said and posted an apology and you're going to change your art style, we can be friends. As long as you do what I say, we can be friends. <laughs> so it's kind of like our friendship is a reward for you doing what I want. And it does come off as super manipulative. Like, you're my friend now as long as you do what I say. <laughs> but that's not where it ends. Later on, she comes at her again and says, hey, you're copying me again. I thought we were friends. How could you do this? And she's even saying like, I know you're probably not doing it on purpose, but it's still a problem. This is, this is the actual, this is what they actually say. I mean, I know you didn't do that on purpose. I think you're influenced by my style a lot without you knowing it. Actually, your shading style is still similar to mine. And in fact, you don't notice this, but I think your lighting style is inspired by me. As you can see, the lighting on Tears or Background in your recents show that. Oh my gosh, she's copying my lighting style. Somebody call the cops! I've never seen this before. It's just, it's really bizarre looking at this. And then she tries to appease Issa by like, trying to draw Sonic different ways so that it doesn't look so much like hers anymore. And it's it's difficult as an artist to change your art style once you've gotten used to a certain way. So, so this is really her bending over backwards to try to please this person. And even after all that, they were like, you're still copying me. Because of the way that she painted it, apparently. It's too, it, it, the way that you're painting it really just looks too similar to how I paint my Sonic. You need to change that and seriously look at yourself as an artist. So this is the last message she sent to this person before blocking her. I don't know if you noticed, but the background of your recent art looks like my movie Silver Art. And the source of your drawings, like Blaze acting like a real cat. Yes, nobody else ever has done art of Blaze the Cat 
acting like a cat. That was an original idea, do not steal. Thank you for helping me by fighting with reposters or something, but your behaviors with your drawings make me confused. I think it's going to help you and me not to see my art anymore. Don't ask my friends to tell me what you want to say to me. I just don't want to care more about you. I think I helped you as much as I can, like recommending comics. Goodbye. And then blocked. And this is, this is what she was talking about, about Blaze acting like a real cat. So this is Issa's. This was her friend's. In, in this one, like, <laughs> Silver's just holding her. In this one, she's looking at a, a laser. Completely different punchlines, but uh, apparently it's too similar. And you'd think that would be the end of it. That's the end of the con- nope. After this, she was still making posts saying that even though they're blocked, even though they're blocked from seeing your art, they're still copying you. Here's the thing, I do understand to some degree artists being worried that if they don't have a unique style, they won't stand out, they'll get lost in the void, so maybe they don't want other people copying their style or copying their jokes. You know, I've seen the same jokes recycled with many different web comics. So I can understand to some degree of, of this artist being worried that because their art styles are too similar, they're going to be mistaken for each other and they're going to be seen as not very unique, but they are a very prominent Sonic fan artist. I don't think you have to really worry that much about him. <laughs> being lost in the void of fan art. Not to mention how much they post. They post very, very often. And that's when I start getting confused because it just seems like such a novice artist thing to be very worried about people stealing your art. When you're really popular, you don't, you don't worry about that. <laughs> That's not a really a problem. And it's very self-important and arrogant to declare that your fan art style is so unique, so special, and your gags are so unique, so special, no one could ever come up with the same idea. And if they do, then we're just gonna have to fix that now, aren't we? There are so many popular artists out there who have a similar style to each other. And they don't get lost in the void. They're, they're not any less unique for having a similar style to other people. And especially like, because they're a fan artist. You don't, you're not making money off of this. You're not having money stolen out of your pocket. That's what really confuses me. It's like if these were your original characters that you were selling prints of and someone else was trying to draw your characters and sell their own prints, then I can understand being upset and being like, hey, you can't copy my characters. But this is Sonic. You don't own Sonic, and you don't own an art style either. And maybe I could also understand it if, like, people were tracing over your art and, like, claiming that it was their own art. I can get that, because then they're not really putting in any effort, they're just, they're, they're literally copying your art and posting it on the- But drawing fan art that has the same lighting as yours? That's- that's not copying. And the way that it's painted and the- This Blaze gag really, really hits it home because they are absolutely nothing alike whatsoever. One is a sketch, one is a comic, one the gag is that she's being held by her tummy, one is that she wants to chase after a laser pointer which is a very common cliche gag of cats. And like I said before, they're a fan artist. So it's like all of their art is essentially made from copying because you don't own the character. You're copying somebody else's art by making fan art of it. You didn't design the character. So there's just layers and layers of like irony and hypocrisy demanding that they write you an apology and post it publicly. Demanding that you change your art style. <laughs> and, and the whole manipulation by saying, oh, we're friends and if you're a good friend, you'll do this for me. So now to be fair to Issa, she did write an apology. A fairly vague apology at first. At first she's just like apologizing for losing her temper and constantly going after this minor. <laughs> From what I understand, Issa is an adult. Uh, this other this other girl was 15 years old. So she apologizes at first for losing her temper and the comments 
the comments eat her alive because they're like, oh, you're not even addressing the fact that you claimed someone else was copying your work just because they had a similar art style. So she actually made another apology post. Now, when you have to post two apologies, that's a good sign that you must be getting some hella backlash. Here's what the second apology says. I want to say sorry for Queenie and everyone who felt uncomfortable and bad because of this situation. Sorry for causing all these situations at first, we talked about her copying my art. She said sorry and will do her best to fix that, and we became friends. But I thought she hadn't changed. I thought she was still so much inspired by me, and I wanted to help her as a friend. I told her how to find her own art style, and she tried to change it. After these, I thought she still got hard time to find her way, so by blocking her, I thought it would be helpful for both of us, because I thought if I block her, she won't be able to see my art and won't get inspiration from me. But after I blocked her, I saw her recent arts from other posts and thought she's still seeing my post. I felt so bad, so I wrote her publicly, but I shouldn't have done that. Sorry for making everyone experience these situations. It's all my big mistake and my fault. I'll do my best to make it up to her in any way possible. I now realize that being inspired by others isn't bad. I should have known that sooner. I was stressed out because I thought she was only inspired by me, and I had noticed that she is trying to find her own way for her drawing by talking with her yesterday. She is very talented and kind person. She can draw in any way she wants. Sorry that I hurt you. I support her, and I believe in her now. I won't touch artists who are inspired by me from now on. Sorry for my worst behavior. Thank you for giving me lots of recommendations. Take this apology however you want, but I needed to speak from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. I hope you can forgive me. This has been a great learning experience for me, and I promise to work towards being a better person in the future. So my impression by her putting out this second, much more detailed apology is that she must have been getting a lot of backlash. And like I said before, it's obvious that they're kind of insecure about their account not standing out. And once a controversy breaks out about you and everyone is really upset at your behavior, she probably realized, okay, I need to write a, a better response saying that I won't do this again. But I kind of see it as her being more so bullied into submission because the first apology, it sounds very much like, okay, I was wrong because I was too upset and I went after a minor too much but I wasn't wrong about her copying my art style. And then the second one, it still kind of feels like they're, they're thinking, well, she, she was copying my art style. Then around the end, they're like, okay, I won't, I won't go after people who are inspired by me. I won't act like this in the future. Being inspired by me, isn't a bad thing. And now to be fair, I do think that Issa not going after any other fan artists for copying her art style is a good thing. You shouldn't be doing that in the first place. I've never heard of anyone doing that ever before. In my entire life, I've never heard of an artist going after them and demanding that they change their art style and write an apology. I've never heard of that before in my life. This is the artist writing the comments. Have you ever heard of this before? Because this is this is all new to me. Which is why I found this story to be so fascinating, because I've never seen this type of behavior from any artist before. Especially someone who's like an established fan artist. You would think that they don't really have to worry that much, but they, for some reason, they are very anxious about people copying their art style, about people drawing anything similar to how they drew. Obviously, it's pretty ironic, <laughs> considering that you're a fan artist. And I do think if they really care about the amount of backlash that they received for their behavior, they probably won't try it again. But granted, I'm, I'm not entirely convinced that Issa really feels like what they did was wrong. I think honestly, if this thread had never come out and if attention wasn't drawn to her, she would probably would have been completely convinced. Yeah, I, I was in the right and this artist should not copy me. As a bit of an update, they've become friends again. Hopefully not the, the same definition of friendship that she held with this person beforehand. But regardless, you know, at least she did apologize, at least the situation has 
calmed itself. I don't know how long that'll last, but I'm hoping good things in the future. So what do you think about this, guys? Is the art style of a fan artist copyrighted? And do they have the right to contact other artists with similar art styles and demand that they change it? Any and all thoughts you have, I want to know. I want to know your experiences with this. So leave them down in the comments section and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Program restart.